Hey, it's Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim. Let's talk about trekking pole tents. For several years now, the Lanshan 2 has been the go-to budget trekking pole tent from China. One you could find it on the bewildering AliExpress website. It is now available on Amazon under several brand names like 3F UL Gear, Meyer, Flames Creed, and others. The Lanshan 2 was my first trekking pole tent, and I had no major problems with it, but let's face it, for $150 you can't really complain. The upgrade to the Lanshan 2 was the Lanshan 2 Pro, a single wall version of the popular budget tent that comes in at a much lighter weight but lacks some of the features of the original. The Lanshan 2 Pro comes in at about $190, not a whole lot more than the original Lanshan 2. It weighs in at an impressive 32 ounces, so this is a 2 pound trekking pole tent, of course, that does not include the poles. It's made of a 20D sill nylon with a 2000 millimeter hydro pressure rating. It is 46 inches wide, 91 inches long, and 43 inches high. It has two doors and two vestibules and vents at the peaks. The interior is fairly basic with a single pocket. Now when it comes to waterproofing, it is important to note that the Lanshan 2 Pro does not come seam sealed. This is a major negative for this tent that numerous people have noticed. Now many have claimed that the Lanshan trekking pole tents are just cheap Chinese knockoffs of American trekking pole designs that come in at a much higher price. However, some American companies have created competition for the Lanshan in the budget range, and I'll be going over a similarly budget price tent as well as a major upgrade for not a whole lot more. In this video, I'll be hitting the major specs and decision-making features to help you decide if either of these would be better for you. So when it comes to the Lanshan 2 Pro, its best feature is definitely its weight. However, its storm worthiness is questionable. So that's the Lanshan 2 Pro. Let's have a look at the first of the two trekking pole tents that I'm going to put in competition with it. From the American company Featherstone, this is the Backbone 2. Featherstone's Backbone two-person trekking pole tent runs about $180, so it is less than the Lanshan 2 Pro. It weighs in at 44 ounces, which makes it the heaviest of the three tents that we are talking about. However, it does have several additional features. This is also a 20D sill nylon material, but it is polyurethane coated, and so, like the Lanshan 2 Pro, comes with a 2000 millimeter hydro pressure rating. One of the first things I noticed about the Backbone 2 is that the interior size felt quite a bit better than the Lanshan 2 Pro. The Backbone has a tapered design, so while it starts at 50 inches wide at the head, it is only 43 inches wide at the foot. So while two standard 20 inch sleeping pads will fit in the tent with no problem, adding a wide pad isn't going to work very well. It is 84 inches long and 47 inches high, which makes it the tallest peak height of the tents that I'm looking at here. The inside feels quite spacious. The backbone also has two doors and two vestibules. However, on the inside, there are quite a few more luxury features, such as two pockets and two hooks that you can run cordage across for hanging things. The backbone comes with a full 15 stakes, however, only eight are required for a good setup. The corners of the tent have rods inserted so that you have a true bathtub floor, and setting up the tent is made quite a bit easier by some nice routing for the trekking poles, which will keep them in place better than if you just tie them off. A serious upgrade to the Lanshan 2 Pro is the fact that the backbone is seam sealed. Even if none of the other features of the backbone made it worth more than the Lanshan 2 Pro, that would seal the deal for me, pun intended. Not only do you get peak vents, but you also have a really nice closer to ground level vent at the head that not only reroutes moisture, which will form on the inside, but also gives quite a bit more breathability to the tent itself. Another thing I really liked about the backbone is the ease of setup. The rings on the tieouts keep you from having to tie clever knots or guess where they are supposed to go. And unlike the Lanshan tubes, which comes with a series of knots that you have to be very careful not to untie, the backbone went up very intuitively and easily. Given that the backbone also costs less than the Lanshan 2 Pro, 
I think it is a clear winner. Its overall build and features are superior to the Lanshan 2 Pro. Really the only category where it lost to the Lanshan 2 was in its weight. However, again, that weight is also getting you additional features. So when it comes to the Featherstone backbone, I would say that its overall build and features clearly mark it as superior to the Lanshan 2 Pro. The backbone's biggest challenge is its weight, so if you are willing to trade features and stormworthiness for those extra ounces, the Lanshan 2 Pro would still make sense. However, if you are more about a solid overall build and good features, you might want to look at the Featherstone Backbone. All right, next, let's look at an impressive offering from Outdoor Vitals, the two-person Fortius. Now, the retail price on this tent is $340, which puts it well out of the range of these cheaper budget tents. However, if you are a member of Outdoor Vitals, you can get this tent for $305.97, Membership costs $10. The Fortius weight is 37 ounces, only five more than the Lanshan 2 Pro, but when you hear about the build quality, its size, and stormworthiness, I think you'll see that those five ounces are well spent. The Fortius is built from a 15D sil nylon polyurethane coated material with a 1500 millimeter hydro pressure rating. The size of the Fortius is also quite impressive. It is a full 48 inches wide, and that is not a tapered design. It's 88 inches long and 46 inches high, which makes it the clear winner as far as interior volume. It has two doors and two vestibules. The vestibules themselves are also quite large. Although getting two wide sleeping pads in the Fortius is going to push its limits, given its other dimensions, this feels more like a true two-person trekking pole tent. The Fortius is pretty sparse inside. You're basically trading large vestibule storage for pockets. One of the things I really liked about the Fortius is that it only requires six stakes to set up. However, the Fortius also has six additional storm points and two end panel guy lines that make this tent truly bomber if it is set up in bad weather. I can confirm that having an inferior trekking pole tent in bad weather makes for a pretty bad night. You can buy additional stakes and storm point lines as desired. Continuing with the storm-worthy features of the Fortius, it also comes completely seam sealed, and certainly better than the Lanshan 2 Pro, which isn't seam sealed at all. And the Fortius also comes with routing for the trekking poles, making it even stronger and easier to set up. The Fortius has a 360 degree vent line all the way around the tent. This helps eliminate too much condensation buildup and also helps route it when it happens. Between its large volume interior and storm worthiness, I felt very comfortable inside the Outdoor Vitals Fortius. So when it comes to size and storm worthiness, the Outdoor Vitals Fortius is a huge step up from the Lanshan 2 Pro. The downside to the Fortius in comparison to the Lanshan 2 Pro is going to be its price. But again, if you are looking for a serious upgrade, if you want better livability, more confidence in inclement weather, and an easier setup, the Outdoor Vitals Fortius might be for you. Again, check out their membership. It's 10 bucks. You get great discounts on excellent gear, some of which I have reviewed elsewhere. That's going to bring the Fortius down to 315 which in the grand scheme of things is not a huge step up in price for a huge step up in quality. All right, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Check out some of these other ones if you are interested in hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Until next time, I'm Doug. Thanks for watching.